Hi, thank you for uh, uh, your comments on my video about uh, bullying. Uh, and I think uh, where some of the things you, uh, I think, sort of, I didn't express it properly about uh, everybody pulling out of school. It wasn't that everybody's pulling out of school. It's for the kids who um, can't find a uh, resolution to the bullying at school. In other words, the administration is, is ignoring it. Uh, that the homeschooling option is not a bad option. It's not as isolating as one would think. And that, uh, that once this does happen, if, if, if from what I'm seeing on the internet, that... Uh, more often than not, uh, the bullying, the serious bullying, is not resolved. Then homeschooling uh, is a good option. Not only is it a good option, but as uh, more and more people start pulling out, uh, this is how an issue will get noticed because uh, the schools are paid per student. In other words, a school receives its funding based on a formula. Uh, on the number of students attending that school. So as their enrollment goes down, the amount of funding they're eligible for goes down as well. And this is where a school, if, if, if a school is has enough, a serious enough bullying issue that it's not paying attention to, if enough kids pull out of that school, then as that funding formula goes down, they're going to have to seriously address it, or else they're going to lose their funding and a large amount of a large amount of their funding. So, uh, and if as I said, that's a way to sort of hit and make this an issue at the school if it hits the pocketbook. And then I'm talking about cases where, uh, as I said, that aren't being resolved. So if you have an issue where if someone's being bullied and it's not being resolved, then pulling them out and letting letting the administration know that this school, the kid is being pulled out because of the bullying. And that and you encourage other parents to do the same thing. That if this is going on in the school, there are other bullies and you know people be, who are victims of bullying going on in the school. That they you know if they can't find a resolution, that they can pull out as well. And as it starts to happen, if 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 there is a bullying problem in the school, <coughs> I can almost guarantee you that uh, the school will start to address it once it realizes enough students are saying and enough parents are saying. Enough is enough. We're not waiting for the school, uh, the administration to do anything anymore. We're leaving. Uh, and as I said, homeschooling is not a bad option. It's not, uh, it's not, uh, it's, it's not as many people think it is. It's, there's a lot of uh, social options and social interactions uh, uh, evolving with homeschooling now so that it's not um, a bad thing. You know? And I know this from, from, uh, from the geek perspective uh, that uh, with the internet, with YouTube, uh, there are a number of communities out there that you can get involved in that you don't have to be alone. You don't have to be isolated and you can have a sense of uh, social interaction even on the um, on the internet. I mean, just look at the YouTube community. Uh, you and I are talking back and forth. Normally, in normal circumstances, we probably would never, would never meet, but yet here we are here uh, having this, uh, you know, this discussion. So I think this is a cool thing. So. It may work out, for, this may be a solution for some of the kids who are feeling bullied, who are feeling alone. Uh, if we could sort of, particularly uh, those of us who have been through the bullying and sort of are willing to talk about it, we can sort of form a community for others, uh, uh, for uh, victims of bullying. And this is a place for them to come, a place for them to hang out with, and they can sort of uh, try things out, you know, and hang out for a bit. They don't have to, they don't have to feel alone. Anyways, that's about it for now. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.